If anyone's doing a John Deere PTO switch, this is the solenoid inside of it. This, these are your valves and a plunger that goes inside. That plunger gets jammed. So what you're gonna wanna do is take off your solenoid and it's all in the back of here on your control valve. There'll just be a nut. You pull the solenoid off and then 27 millimeter wrench, the shaft comes out with the valve. So you're able to take the valve out and then uh, that's supposed to move in and out with like a spring tension. So it was stuck. So then you're able to just use this and it's a magnet and it pushes this valve back and forth and those control your PTOs. It's very simple, very basic. These just get plugged up somehow. It's a known problem, but just be careful with it, taking it apart, but you'll be able to do it yourself. It's really cheap, really easy. It's inexpensive. You just have to have a 27 millimeter wrench to get inside here. There's a bolt right there. So if you get like a crescent wrench, you won't be able to get to it. So you're going to have to go get a 27 millimeter wrench. Then you're able to fit it on there and turn it. Otherwise, you'll just have to take this back of tree off or take off all your hydraulics. Uh, nothing leaked out, by the way. No hydraulic fluid came out of it, which is awesome. So it's really mess-free. Hope this helps you guys.